Hey everybody, Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. What's up, YouTube? Thought we'd bring another currency review video to everybody. I brought Christina with me. Say hello. Hello. And as we wrap up 2018, we have a nice addition to the channel. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel on YouTube, please do so. It helps us out. And again, every little bit helps. If you like what you see, what you hear, you can check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. Everything you're going to need to know is at FrugalSnobs.com. Now, with those plugs out of the way, like I said... Wrapping up 2018, we were able to pick up a really cool bill. Oh, yeah. And this is the long-promised, if you've listened to the Frugal Snobs podcast, this is the long-promised Bank of Canada $10 note featuring Viola Desmond. Yes. It was released uh, roughly, I'd say, uh, give or take about a month ago. Yes, we got it right before we went to my Steel City Comic Con. Yes. So we're thinking mid to late November, I believe. I so, believe. It took about a week to get here. Right. And... So we actually ordered these bills from Nova Scotia. Um, we've been long awaiting this bill. The rumors of this bill, uh, concept images, uh, press conference events, things like that have all been taking place for a while. Yeah. Uh, for the new Canadian ten dollar note, um, for roughly a year, all we've heard is that it was coming out in late twenty eighteen, and they just got it out just in time. So this particular bill, let's go and take a look at the front side of the note. It is a vertical bill. And yes. I think this is the first Canadian polymer that's vertical. Yes. Featuring Viola Desmond, uh, also known as the Rosa Parks of Canada. Yes. So to to basically break it down for folks, Viola Desmond essentially in 1946 in Nova Scotia uh, was basically arrested for sitting in a whites only section of a theater, uh, all over what a penny? Yeah, penny tax. I believe yes, a one cent tax, which is the difference between. A ticket for sitting in the whites only section of the theater versus a non whites section of the theater. So it was basically just a, a charge, an excuse to have her arrested. Yes. Essentially, that many people think. Front side of the note also features a map of her hometown. And also, Christina pointed this out. It is dual language, as always, since 1937, Canadian notes have been dual language. And you also see a seal. Yes. The lion unicorn seal on the front side of the note. That's pretty. Yes, I love that seal. Yeah. <laughs> and again, this is a polymer note. We picked up four of these notes, folks, all sequential. So again, we, we picked them up and ordered them roughly a week after they entered circulation from Nova Scotia. So it was pretty cool to get this note. Again, it's a polymer 10. Um, also, we've heard that a new $5 note is coming. is coming from the uh, Bank of Canada. Um, so looking forward to that as well. Anything it's, else on the front side of the note? I was going to say, with the 5 note? Mm hmm it's still in preliminary because they need to get the people's feedback. Gotcha. So, see, this, this is what they do really cool up in Canada. They actually get citizenry feedback on things. So, we've heard nothing about this note beyond that it is coming. We have no dates for the note yet, but we'll give additional details on the Frugal Snouts podcast. Anything else on the front side of the note? Not that I can think of. We really nailed. Okay. It's a mainly purple note. We didn't mention that. That's true. There's purple hues to this note. Yes. It's very pretty. Just pretty note. All right. Let's flip to the back side of the note. On the back side of the note, what you have is essentially the same vertical effect, but this time you can see the seal on the front side of the note, the line unicorn seal that Christina mentioned from the back side of the note. Barely. Barely. That's correct. Uh, I should also mention, I didn't mention this on the front side of the note, there is a tactile feature. Mm -hmm. So for those who are visually impaired, it also makes this a security feature because it becomes more difficult to counterfeit. Exactly. These notes. Um, Besides the see-through parts. Right. Right. The, right. Exactly. <laughs> the windows, so yes. to speak, on the note. And the holograms. Yes. Uh, which are also featured on the back side of the note. <laughs> um, I believe you have the leaf hologram. I it, believe. It's like a stained glass window. Oh, I thought it was a leaf hologram. Oh. But they do have a leaf as well. Up gotcha. In the little corner. Gotcha. But the hologram of the stained glass is more prominent. Gotcha. It's kind of somewhere on the, the $10 note that was released for the Canada 150 celebrations. Yes. Where you saw the church, I believe, effect through the stained glass on the yes. back side of the note. It was, it was really cool. And the thing is, this Viola Desmond note is replacing that note. Gotcha. So it is going. So we actually have both of those notes. Yes. Uh, and I believe the video is available on the channel. It is. Uh, so check it out here on the channel if you haven't done so already, folks. It is the Canada One Fifty Ten Dollar Note video. It's pretty cool. Doesn't feature a monarch. I should also mention that, of course, this ten dollar note is also another Canadian note with an example of no monarch. Yes. Right. And it is the first vertical Canadian note as we mentioned. So on the back side of the note, the other feature I did want to point out is the Canada Museum of Human Rights. Yes. Also featured on the back side of the note. Really cool bill. Glad we got it. Picked up four of them and uh, got those uh, cataloged. 
Uh, also, with uh, this particular note, I wanted to uh, just let everybody know that we received a pleasant surprise, and we'll be reviewing this note as well. If it's not here on the YouTube channel, we will review it on the Frivolous Nose podcast with a little more detail. But it is the Gentoo Penguin note. Yes, it was a nice surprise when we opened up the envelope. Yes, so along with our four bills from Nova Scotia, we did receive this particular bill. It is a, it's a non-legal tender. It looks almost like a commemorative, or I won't say a fantasy note, but um, a novelty note, I think is how Christina yes. mentioned it. So it's a novelty note featuring the Gentoo Penguin. Yeah. Um, so it is a 20-pound note. We believe it's from the Falkland Islands, but we have to do a bit more research. But it was really a cool addition. That we were not expecting that we were able to pick up along with these four notes. All right, folks, you ready to wrap this up? Yes. All right, folks, hope everybody enjoyed this video. Check out all the other videos we have here on the YouTube channel. As I mentioned, please check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. Everything you're going to need to know is at frugalsnobs.com. Uh, to wrap this up, Christina, you are busy in January. We have a couple of book events coming up. Yes, I do. So we have a lot of things going on leading into 2019. I hope everybody enjoys the end of the year. Have a pleasant and safe new year into 2019. As always, be well, never pay a retail, take care of yourself and each other.